Hi there folks and welcome to this easiest way to learn C programming. In this video I will show you how to learn C coding in an easiest way that you can imagine. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So today we're going to learn pointers to structures in C and let me go ahead and maximize this editor and as you may have noticed I have created this file ex6668 underscore pointers to structures dot c and I have also created these statements ahead of time so we're going to practice making codes and I do believe that this is the best way to learn coding more hands-on exercises and at the end of this video I highly encourage you to answer the question because it's the best way for you to for you to teach yourself in C programming so going back to this uh, statements and uh, pointers to structures just like pointers to variables pointers to structures can also be defined so in this example I have an expression here so this uh, this statement uh, defines a pointer to the my stru structure and again pointer is pointer is uh, a pointer somewhere stores the address of an object and a structure is a user-defined data type that groups related variables of different data types and on this line the struct uh, ptr is equal to address of the struct variable so this stores the address of the structure variable struct var in the pointer struct ptr on this so again on this line this, it stores the address of the structure variable struct var in the variable pointer in the pointer structure pdr and on this line struct pdr and then there's an arrow here struct mem so this accesses the value of the structure member struct mem so let me go ahead and give you an example let me delete this lines of code and and comment this function so let me go ahead and complete this code so here is the example for this uh, for this program pointers to structure let's go ahead and run this compile and run and okay I'm getting an error on the line let me double check the codes So let's go ahead and run this, compile and run. And as you can see, student, student named Chris, number six, age 26, student two, Maxima, age no, or number nine, age 19. So that's correct. So you may have noticed the operator, this operator in here. So this operator allows to access members of the struct through the pointer. And as a quick note that the ST, uh, this symbol in here, let me just type this in real quick. Pointer or star ST dot age is the same or is equivalent to ST age. Also, so these are these are the same. So when you use this, it is similar to using this. You can use either one of this. And also, when a di when a type def has been used to name the struct, then a pointer is declared using only the type def name along with the star and the pointer name. So you might be asking yourself, why use pointers? Well, passing a struct to a function as a value is a poor code practice. Pointers exist for many reasons and one of them is efficiency. 
A structure is normally a big chunk of memory containing strings, arrays, double variables, other structures. So if you are not using a pointer to pass it on to pass it to a function, you end up to copy every single byte of that struct again and again for every function call. So this means memory overload, slow processing time and inefficiency. But pointers help us a struct pass by reference um, with for example, with a pointer that is basically an address to a function, it won't be copied but just referenced. This mechanism saves a lot of memory and time. So that's that's uh, that's the answer for for uh, for the question why you use pointer instead of uh, just regular variables. So that's it for this video and before we wrap up let's test your knowledge. I have here a little exercise for you on this tab. I want you to fill in the blanks to declare a pointer to a structure and access the structure members using the pointer. So as you can see there's two missing piece of information in here that needs to be filled in and if you know the answer please put it in the comment section below. Thank you.